Hello, it's Tamara Hunter and I'm a National Marketing Director with the Juice Plus Company. I'm going to teach you one of the most important skills of finding new prospects and developing your list. This is one of the first things that you have to do in your business journey. A lot of people believe that you need to know a lot of people and sell to a lot of people in order to do this business, but it's just not true. One of the core skills that you need to develop is the ability to develop your list. Now, there's three types of people in the network marketing industry. The first are the posers. These are the people who hold about 12 people in their mind. That's their list. And their entire success in this business is dependent on whether those 12 people join the business. Their entire success is in the hands of others. That's not a successful way to do this business. The second group are the amateurs. These are the people that are ignorance on fire. They just get that pen and paper and they just write down the first 100 names that they can think of and then they go out and churn and burn. They vomit juice plus all over these people. And what happens is as people are saying no, that list slowly gets shorter and shorter and then they get more and more desperate and their contacts can, contacts can read that and they run a mile. That's not successful in this business. What you want to be is a network marketing professional in developing your list and finding your prospects. In fact, network marketing professionals, their core skill and their intention is to continue to add to that list, to continue to grow the networks, to continue to think about who they're going to connect with each day and expand their list. So step one in developing your prospect list. I want you to grab a pen and paper. You can do this now or you can do this after this short video. I want you to write down the names of every person that you can think of. Don't judge them. Don't, don't not write them down because you think they're too old or they're too young or they wouldn't be interested or they already eat enough fruits and vegetables. Doesn't matter, write their names down. The point of this exercise is twofold. Firstly, you want to get their names out of your head and onto paper to make more room for more names to come into your head. But the second thing is, is as you write their names down, you're going to start to think about the network of people that surround them. Think about your cousin, for example. Who are they related to? Who are their friends? What do they do for recreation? And all of a sudden, that network starts to expand. Completely exhaust yourself of the people that you know. It might take you several hours over a number of days to do this. Step two is go back to that list and look at every person. And again, think of their networks. Think of the people that they know. Think of the things that they do and the connections that they, help you, that they could help you create. The third thing is that you want to network on purpose every single day. Think of the ways that you can reach out to new networks. It might be through social media and, and groups that are of interest to you. It might be through joining clubs, recreational activities. Think of different ways that you could network on purpose. Have a higher awareness of making connections with people every single day. It wouldn't be too hard really to make two new connections with people every single day. That's 60 new people a month, that's over 600 new connections and networks you could potentially reach out to every single year. And that means that your list is constantly expanding. It's never getting smaller. And by having a constantly expanding list, you're establishing the core skill to developing your Juice Plus business. I look forward to helping you with this.